Alrighty, folks. Welcome on back to Lost Odyssey. In full transparency, uh, right after I stopped the episode and stopped running, we got in a fight. So, uh, with that fight, Jensen got a new level, and everybody finished their Black Magic 7 skill link. So, I just wanted to let, I guess, everyone would be the better way to put it No, I have a feeling... And I'm, I'm fairly certain I'm right at this point. But I have a feeling that the inside and outside of this are reversed. Uh, no. Do... Do a shadow. And I say that because as we've been going up on the inside, we've kind of been going down on the outside. Unless I'm completely missing the two, but it seems that the higher up we are, the lower we are on the inside. It's very strange, that this, this feeling. I don't know how else to describe it besides how I'm trying to. So, it's, it's, yeah, it's weird. Wait, does Jensen just know level one magic? <laughs> like, I'm going to give him Regenera because he is the one who needs it more than anybody else. But even without the black-white uh, piece that we've been using, I forget what it, what it actually is. But even without that, the he still knows level one black magic, or level one white magic. So I'm wondering if he knows a little tiny bit of white magic. Like, since he was your starting mage, they gave him level one white magic, but his primary focus was black. It's an interesting thought. I never even thought of that. Never even, like, realized that it was a thing that I needed to keep track of. Yeah, no, now you're just going to start to do damage. We're probably going to end up taking out both of these guys this turn. Um, why is E next? He was last. Um, I'm really confused. How he went from being last to next. Unless that was his last ditch effort was... Resurrect. But I didn't think we'd done enough damage to him. Nope, we hadn't. All right. That's bizarre. Yeah, he went from being last in the turn order to next in the turn order after Kaim attacked him. Or sorry, after Seth attacked him. It wasn't even Kaim that hit him, it was Seth. And we're done. <laughs> Wins the fight for us. I gotta you gotta love these enemies. They just win the fight for you. Alright, Jensen, you got anything new for us? Nope. Alright, let's get back inside. So 
so we need to go down a couple levels, right? Or do we need to just run? Do I need to just run straight across here? I say we just run straight across and remind ourselves where this one comes out because I don't remember. <laughs> Ran all the way back around just to... Great. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's just perfect. All right. So we... We need to go back upstairs. And flip this thing around. But before that... Yeah, I need to flip it around. I didn't read the book in the middle like I said I was going to. So we're still running on... Uh, on a lot of... How do I figure this out? manually and I'm pretty sure we need to get stuff flipped around like flipped up and I know there's at least one more that I need to do it for but first let's go outside because I have a feeling that we can now run over this. Yes. But there's nothing here. But there's nothing there. Oh, the ladder. Wow. Almost completely missed the ladder. All right. Oh, wow. That's such a pretty jewel. I wonder what this is for. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's important. Maybe it has something to do with the altar we saw earlier. That's my thought. If I pick it up, is there a fight? Nope. I got the Emerald of Despair, however. Because, you know, that's not... Nothing. Okay, so now I have to make it over to the other side of this level. So that we can go get the other one. This does not look good. <sighs> I hate these fights. <laughs> like, they're so mind-numbing. Screw it, just do it that on that one. So it looks like A and D are going to blow themselves up. Alright, I need to put on all Regenera. Or all generate. Whatever the second level of the all generation is. Get a lower <laughs> all right, that's fine. Nice. I love it when it's GC level one, because it means I can attack the back row with impunity. All right, let's do this.
Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted you to do all generata. You're still gonna gamble, but this time on E, and you're gonna gamble. On E. Of course she goes last. It's fine. And by she, I meant Ming. Of course Ming goes last. But hey, we only have the back row to deal with. So, there's at least that. For as much damage as Gamble can do, it it doesn't it doesn't feel right. And I, I don't know if you guys understand what I'm getting at. Like, it feels like there should be an oomph at the end. More than just that whoop. Maybe like a, a, a thunk. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they wait until it's just the two of them to do their all rise and all fall. That's weird. Nice. Did you learn anything? No. <laughs> it's probably going to be like 49 and 52. Either that or he's not going to learn anything until 52. Okay, so if we need to get all the way across... That means I need to go down at least once. I mean, if we're doing gamble, I don't need all mind us. I might need a generation. I'm going to need a generation. Got to remember that. With these guys, I only need power us and then all generatus. Almost got Jensen back to full health before we took this. It's like it just... Mi oh! That's why it missed. Because they countered. Got it. Makes sense now. Makes a lot more sense now. But now I won't have to worry about health at all for the rest of this fight. Even with you doing this. Like, we should go right back to full health. And bye-bye.
just had a thought. Aside from Jensen, why am I still using Gamble? Like, it makes sense for Jensen because it's a one-turn spell for him. But we can use Forceus at one turn with the others, and it should do significantly more damage. Should do significantly more. Does I ride at 49, he gets something? He does. Ah, oh, that's when he gets level 8 black magic. So now that we've learned level 8 black magic normally, if I come into the black magic spell book, why are we missing these two spells? Like, according to the guide, the last time I read it, anyway, which I'm about to go look again. Spirit black. So... Ah, yes. Okay. That's what it is. Aquas and Groundus are on Grand Staff. Um, here in between Forceus and Death is Leveler. That's the one in the snow fields. Uh, the other ones that we're missing, the two here in White Magic for level 7 are Reflect, which is in Grand Staff, and Shyness, which is in Grand Staff. And the only... We're missing two here. Level six. Spirit alignment break is in the burning cave. We missed that one somehow, so we need to go back and get it. And sacrifice self is in here. Um, this is... The, we have to defeat the legendary sorcerer, Fu. And that one's you sacrifice yourself and everybody gets revived. And then I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we're missing all Aquas and all Groundus. But then I don't know what... I don't know what those two are. Oh, we're missing a whole section here. A whole four. Interesting. Shyness already shine already hits everybody. So that goes up. There's nothing over here. I don't want to change this one again. So let's go down and then come back up. Oh, that's right. We can go down further. If I go down further. There's nothing here because we'd have to flip that thing back around. Which I don't want to do. All right, that's fine. Well, we're going to go back up then because then we can go the other way. We go up north. And go to this. To go back downstairs. <laughs> Upstairs. Upstairs? Downstairs? Sideways stairs? Alright. So that makes it... So that... We can't get back anywhere. Excellent. Well, let's flip it around and see what flipping in 180 degrees does. No one gets in the way. <sighs> <laughs> you can tell I really don't like this particular fight. Oops, too far. I really don't like this one. Like this one's just it's it's annoying. 
The other one is just time consuming. <laughs> the one with all the orbs? <laughs> it's just really time consuming. This one, like, you have to break through the front row before you can do anything with the back row. I was going to be like, wait, I gave Jensen the... I was trying to figure out how he wasn't poisoned and realized that I had given him the anti-poison in addition to the spirit level 8. All right. Wow, you're both fairly low. However, it's not low enough. Actually, it might be. Attack there, attack there. You give me an all generatus. You gamble on him. And you force us on him. Yeah, we got enough to kill these two. Sweet. Yes, he's gonna res one back, but we're not taking an explosion this turn. Oh yeah, that does way more than the gamble does. We should be able to kill him this turn. Both because of this gamble and because of Ming. Oh, Ming did all this. Man! It's alright. We need our health. Just means that he brings the little dude back. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Oops, I meant to attack the one in the front with that one, but that's okay. All right, the rezzer's gone. Can we get you before you blow up? Maybe? Definitely. Oh yeah, I should definitely be using Forceus instead of Gamble. It does so much more damage. Now, Gamble, Gamble's still good for, like, Jensen, just because it takes him so long to cast anything. But for our speed casters, ooh, boy. Bye, guys. That goes so much faster with Forceus. I now have a test I want to do on that one the next time it comes up. All right, let's flip this guy again. Let's see where we end up. Does it rotate 180 or does it just rotate back and forth like this? I think it just rotates back and forth. Yep. Dang. Yep, can't get to anything there. I can't go to anything that way. And if I go back upstairs, I can't get off of this platform. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is fantastic. I don't even remember how to get around in this place. I 
think we're going to have to move this. Just so that I can, quote unquote, get to the other side. But even still, I don't think I can... Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing. All right, if you go back down, it means we could get out if we take that back down. Jeez. <laughs> this place is so confusing. <laughs> So confusing. Okay, we're back on this level. Which ironically means I'm gonna save. Not too smart, eh? Ooh, hey, I get to do my test. Cool. So cut down, cut down. Just force us B. I'm actually going to have you gamble the one in the back and C. I want to see how much if we can take out this entire front row in one turn essentially. Still does 39. All right, there's seven. There's seven. Get a lower we don't do enough with this to actually kill them, though. Or do we? I know Kaim does more damage. They're not dead? How are they not dead? How how in the world does that work? Because the 70 they don't use the full 72 or we just do more damage to their GC. That's weird. All right. I think this is going to work and work the way that I want it to. Where we only take two explosions, essentially. And I can still kill the Resurrector because of these two Forceuses this turn. Maybe not quite. No? 37 to 39 should more than kill it. Cool. This actually worked fairly well. Alright, let's kill this lady before she all raises them. I wish I could kill both before that occurred, but we'd be dealing with those bombs a lot more. I mean, maybe. Get an all fall. That's fine. Pretty sure you're dead. Either you're dead or you have so little health that or you have a lot more health. And I mean so little health that it doesn't matter. If you can call 900 health so little health it doesn't matter. <laughs> that was a close one. Ah, come on. <laughs> At least we go to 73 the same time he goes to 52. All right. Yes, I would like to save. Sheesh. <laughs> this place is ridiculous. 
Uh, are we really at time? Is that really where we're at? Oh, man. <laughs> All right, well, I am going to end today's episode off here. When we come back, we'll be at the end of this fight. This fight is going to be annoying. Um, yeah, we're going to do this first. Nope, not spirit. White. All right, well, I will catch you folks after this fight. And uh, that will be in the next episode. So I hope you folks enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there.